I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of my family. Um, <clears throat> and we knew him as Pop, so please forgive me if I refer to him as Pop instead of Dr. Tuttle. Um, I can't tell you how much we appreciate this huge honor, and I want to thank a few people. I'm sure I'll forget a few, but I definitely want to thank Dr. Tom Friedemann and Judy Harris with the Francis Tuttle Technology Center. They have worked nonstop yeah, to make this happen for, for several years, and they, never, they said they'd never stop until they got him in, so Judy, you can retire now. I know this means a lot to you all, and I want you to know we can't thank you enough for this honor. Uh, and I also want to thank Mr. Herman Minders, and as well as Governor George Nye, Governor Mary Fallon, and Mary Dewey Bartlett Jr., who all wrote letters on his behalf. So thank you all very much. But most of all, I want to thank everybody in the career tech system. They're truly the people that keep his legacy alive. And if you ever go to a career tech event, you can feel how much they love Francis Tuttle. So I know they're as proud of this honor as we are. And so I congratulate you all tonight. <clears throat> we heard a lot in the video about his pro professional career and all the things that he did, so I'd like to just take a few minutes to explain what kind of a guy he was. I recently heard someone say that it's our purpose in life to discover our gifts and then give them away as many times as you can. And humility, kindness, and respect were three of his best gifts, and he gave them away every day in both, both, both his professional and personal life. Pop worked on a daily basis with politicians, CEOs, and students, and he treated every one of them exactly the same way, with the same respect. In fact, Dr. Friedman recently told me what it was like to work with him, and he said when you were in a conversation with Pop, it was as if you were the only person in the building. He gave you full attention, listened to everything you had to say, and, and, and took your ideas and welcome those ideas. And if you came up with a good idea, he held you accountable to follow through on it. He gets a lot of credit for the success of the career tech system, but it seems that his greatest asset was the ability to surround himself with great people and then allow them to flourish and grow. At Pop's funeral, a lady came up to my grandmother and told her that she, she had worked in the career tech system, I believe at the State Department, and she had a daughter who was handicapped and living in an assisted living facility in Stillwater. The daughter saw his obituary in the paper and mentioned that she was saddened by his death and her mother asked, and she said she had missed talking to him. And her mother asked how she knew him and he said that, that the daughter said that he had been coming by to visit her occasionally for the last several years. Her mother had never heard that story and neither had my grandmother. And that's just the kind of guy he was. He did, had no need to self-promote for being a great man. Growing up, we had a sense that he was an important guy, but because he wore a suit and we went to dinners like this for him all the time, but I had no idea what he did for a living. He didn't bring work home with him. When he was around family, he was 100% husband, father, and grandfather. He loved to go to our events. He loved to talk about our lives. And Pop was fortunate to receive many honors and awards, including the OSU Hall of Fame, 50 most influential Oklahomans, and having the Francis Tuttle Technology System Center named in his honor. And he, he loved these awards. These awards came with tons of plaques, photos, and medals, which he was very proud of, and he displayed them very proudly in the back guest bedroom of their house. That's because he didn't need them on display front row center, and it's probably most likely where my grandmother told him he was allowed to put them. <laughs> I'm sure Pop's looking down on us tonight and he's, and he's extremely proud of this award. But I guarantee you that he's more proud of his family and friends that showed up to support him tonight. And if he were here, he'd let you know that my grandmother, Vivian Tuttle, deserves an assist on this award. And then rather than talk about himself or his accomplishments, he'd quickly shift the conversation to OSU's 10 and 0 record, <laughs> or the fact that he's going in the Hall of Fame class with KD. So <laughs> thank you very much for this wonderful honor, and God bless.